Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss how to design a ladder diagram for water level controller system. Here you can see a water level controller system which contains a water tank, which has a final level, an intermediate intermittent level, and outlet, which has inlet wall. From here we can control the water flow inside the water tank. So it has inlet pipe which is connected to a motor and another pipe which is connected to the motor connected to the ground tank from that ground tank we can switch on the motor which will send the water to the water tank so now uh, what motor is connected to the switchboard so switchboard is having two buttons that is start button and stop button whenever we press the start button the motor switch on and it will start pumping the water from the ground tank to the overhead tank that is upper tank now a uh, switchboard is connected to other another switch that is stop which can stop the motor and which can stop the water flow so here in this case there are two level indicators that is intermittent level and final level so here once the motor is turned on water flows from the ground tank to the upper tank and it starts filling so that is uh, there is a two level indicators which which will be connected to the tank which can give you which can give you the intermittent level that is lower level and next second one is that is final level that is maximum level at the final level tank is full so let's see so before that there are two level indicators that is final level and intermittent level so these level indicators are nothing but these are nothing but the sensors which give output signals when they sense water or any other liquids and these level indicators send signals to the plc for int underscore level and fin underscore level switches so these these switches are nothing but the contacts which we are using in ladder, ladder design in codesis so let's go ahead and go to codesis and look at how to design the ladder diagram for this particular system first take file new click ok choose the target settings so type of POE should be program language of POE should be LD click ok maximize this let's take first contact name this as m underscore switch start mode start switch Take a parallel contact for all that is motor. Take a stop switch. Click the output motor. Take a coil. Motor. So next. The second take second rank take a contact give the name as mode so this is intermittent level take a parallel contact that is for inlet valve Which is final level. If I am underscore so this will be inlet underscore before that we have to connect motor here. So write it as a motor. So it has uh, the output of the motor which will be connected as a parallel contact so that this switch is, whenever this switch is off that is m underscore strt underscore switch is off parallel line should be on so that motor should be on. Next for the second rung we have taken a contact and a, ne 
targeted contact for int underscore level that is intermittent level whenever this switch is open the intermittent level is filled okay whenever next switch that is fin underscore level open it means that final level indicator is active that means tank is full motor should be turned off so that it stops um, water flow stops so let's run this design before running the design we'll save the design okay give this as water level let's build it you can see there are no errors and no warnings let's go ahead run the design keep it in simulation mode click on login so it is logged into the design start with pressing the start button so now motor is turned on and inlet valve is also open that means inlet valve is on means water is flowing inside the tank and let's assume that intermittent level is full so let's open this let's check whether the motor turns off or not so this uh, we are opening this contact that means we are checking whether uh, intermittent level is full or not int underscore level so let's check it see even though this contact is open that is tank is filling and let's see whenever it will open this contact whether the motor turns off or not that means the final underscore level indicator is active it gives a signal that the tank is full so that motor should be turned off so let's check it see you can see inlet valve is off uh, that means the water flow stops even though motor is not uh, off inlet valve is off that means we need to turn off the motor so whenever final level indicator gives a signal it means that tank is full you can see clearly final underscore level contact that is now it is open after opening this the inlet, inlet valve turns off so that water flow inside the tank stops and the further step is to stop the motor now i have to click this switch and it will turn off so motor is turned off and the system turns off in this way we have to design water level controller in codices using the ladder diagram so thank you